All right, now here we're going to go ahead and add, subtract, multiply, and divide um, a set of complex numbers. So I can have that, uh, we'll put an S there. There we go. Now it looks better. So how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide a set of complex numbers. A plus BI is a complex number. If you're not sure what a complex number is, you might go look that up. This is not a video on what a complex number is. But you have a real part, just quickly, and an imaginary part, the BI. And so here I just made up two complex numbers. One is 2 plus 3i and the other is 5 minus 2i. And we're going to go ahead and add those. So if you think you know how to do this already, go ahead and try it. And then, so stop the video and give it a shot. So how you do this is you just add them. And you treat i like a variable. So 2 plus 5, you're going to add 2 and 5 and you would get 7. And then 3 minus 2i is 1i. So plus 1i. And you could just write that as 7 plus i. You don't need the 1 there. And so that's what happens when you add two complex numbers. Be very careful. When you do these in a textbook situation or with your math teacher, um, you're going to be tempted to FOIL or distribute and get like 10 minus 4i plus 15i for this problem. That's a common error here. You are not distributing. You're just adding them. So just treat the i like a variable and add them together. Subtraction, give it a shot now. So stop the video, try it, see what you get. See if what you get matches what I get. So with subtraction, we got a negative in front of the, right here, this negative, I'll do an arrow, is in front of the 5 minus 2i. So that is like having a negative 1 there. So you're going to distribute the negative 1 through the equation. So you would have 2 plus 3i, you know, it's just like any math. You change subtraction to addition and change the sign to the right. Well, when you do that, you'd have negative 5 plus 2i. And now you can go ahead and do it like we did number 1. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. 3i plus 2i is 5i. So if you were to subtract those two complex numbers, that is what you'd get. Okay? Then the third one here is multiplication. We'll get to division in a second, because that's a little different. But multiplication, give it a shot. Hit stop and see if you know what to do there. Because you might know intuitively, um, if you've done any algebra at all. So with this one, you distribute it like um, any um, binomial. You know, we've got a set of binomials here. Oh, and sorry, I forgot the i there with the 3. So it's 2 plus 3i and 5 minus 2i. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, you just distribute. So 2 times, or FOIL is often called, but I call it, distri it is distribution. So you take the 2 and distribute it through both of them. And so you'd have 10 minus 4i. And then you would have, now distribute the 3i through, so you'd have plus 15i, and then 3i times negative uh, 2i is minus 6i squared. And so now it becomes just a matter of simplifying that. So if we simplify that, um, you would have 10 uh, plus uh, 15 and 4 is 11i, and then minus 6i squared so far. But here's the deal. We know, if you've studied imaginary numbers at all, that i squared is equal to negative 1. Just like i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So that we can substitute that in for this i squared. That is negative 1. So really we have 10 plus 11i plus 6. Because you'd have negative 6 times negative 1. This is what I did in my head, which makes a positive 6. So there's one more, then we can add the 10 and the 6. So when you multiply those two complex numbers, you get 16 plus 11i. And so there is addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now how about division? Okay, so here's the same numbers where I divided them. So I've got 2 plus 3i divided by 5 minus 2i. 
Now, the main goal here is to, you really have a radical in the denominator, and the main goal is to eliminate that radical. And you do that by multiplying by what, what's called a conjugate. So let me show you what that is. So if you have the bottom here, you've got 5 minus 2i and 2 plus 3i. The conjugate of the bottom complex number is 5 plus 2i. And when you multiply conjugates of complex numbers, you end up with a real number, which is kind of cool. And so whatever you do to the bottom, we don't want to change the problem at all. You have to do to the top, because you really want to multiply by 1. Because if you take 5 plus 2i divided by 5 plus 2i, that is 1. So this is really, I just, this is a fancy number 1. So, um, that is, anytime you divide two numbers are the same, just like if you took uh, uh, 100 divided by 100, that is 1. So um, it works the same way, even with complex numbers. I'm not breaking any mathematical rules here. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and distribute that top. So now it's just a matter of uh, distribution or foiling like we did before. Now, we already foiled the 2 plus 3i and the 5 plus 2i, but I'll do it again just, to, just for the practice and the heck of it. And so that would be 10, but I'll go a little faster, 10 plus 4i. Well, I guess we didn't do this one in particular because we multiplied the 5 minus 2i. So 10 plus 4i plus uh, 15i uh, plus 6i squared. That's the top. On the bottom, you'd have 25 uh, plus 10i minus 10i minus 4i squared. And maybe you need to see that visually. Some people need to see this, and that's fine. So on the top, going back to the top, I took the 2, distributed it through. That's the 10 and the 4i. Then I took the 3i times 5 and the 3i times 2i. And that's the 15i and the 6i squared. And then on the bottom, I took 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2i is 10i. Negative 2i and 5 is negative 10i. And negative 2i and 2i is negative 4i squared. Okay. So now it's a matter of simplifying the top and simplifying the bottom. Well, on the bottom, let's do it first. So 10i minus 10i is 0. That's gone. And 25 minus 4i squared, well remember, i squared is negative 1, so in the bottom we really have 25 plus 4. <clears throat> on the top, similarly, i squared is negative 1, so that's a minus 6, and you've got 10, <coughs> pardon me, you've got 10 plus 19i, if you combine these two i's, minus 6. So one last step to combine your real numbers. 10 minus 6 is 4 plus 19i divided by 25 plus 4 is 29. And for the most part, we're done. We always want to write this in complex form, though. Complex numbers always written in this form, a plus bi. So one last step, this would be as a con in complex form, 4 29ths plus 19 29ths i. And so there's how you would divide complex numbers to end up with another complex number. So that one's kind of a tricky one. Um, and that's what it is. Now, just two random ones to just another random one, maybe not two of them. But let's say you had, uh, you wanted to square a complex number. So let's say you had maybe 6 minus 4i, and we are going to square that, okay? Well, squaring that is, <clears throat> you just write it out twice. So 6 minus 4i, you know, use the definition of squaring something times 6 minus 4i. Just like if you had 8 squared, that would be 8 times 8. Okay. This is the same thing, 6 minus 4i times 6 minus 4i. Don't just, um, don't just square the 6 and square the 4 and expect to be done. No, you have to write both complex numbers out and then multiply them. 
And so you would have 36. I mean, try it before you, you know, hit stop. Give this a shot. See if you know what you're doing. So 36 minus four, uh, 24i. And now you can do the negative 4i through, which would be minus 24i minus plus 16i squared because negative negative is a positive. Then if you combine that, that would be 36, and this is a minus 16, because i squared is negative 1. So 36 minus 16 is 20 minus 48i. And there is, if you would square, a complex number. And so those are the main operations that you're probably going to deal with in any um, Algebra 2 class or college algebra class, any of those type of things or situations. Not that this is the only place you use it. There's lots of places I'm sure you use imaginary numbers in life. But your main goal is to get through that math course right now. So that's how you do it. So best of luck. See you next time.